with all of these changes and where do you think that you see solar moving within the next two to five years? I mean, what, what, what's your forecast for the future? Yeah. You know, stepping back and processing this, I think that this is going to, in general, the bill is one thing, the trade war is another, and then there's an energy reality for America that's hitting at the same time. So within the American context, and the American markets can work very different than any other country in the world for solar, right? Um, in the next five years, we have the Department of Energy telling us that we are looking at uh, 800 hours of power outages for the average American. So some people worse, some people better, but that's an insane amount of power on reliability. It's been driven by you know, the surge in demand from AI. Uh, so we're going to see people start really thinking about energy reliability, and mm -hmm. that's going to that's going to add a value here. Our goal has been to pay you back financially without even factoring in energy reliability because of America has such a reliable grid. I think we see some factors where energy gets so unreliable. It's, it's a huge problem. Uh, and uh, we also are going to see that demand drive up cost way past inflation. I think we're, people are going to be living in 5 to 15 percent uh, cost increase years, which is going to just rapidly accelerate the payback on the stuff. And then finally, I think the big, beautiful bill is going to, you know, when, when the dust settles and, you know, not, you know, not my target phase out time of mm -hmm. six months, but when the dust settles, we're going to be in a much more competitive, transparent and innovative uh, environment. I think any any technological uh, field that uh, has less government intervention and less uh, subsidization uh, ends up going that direction, very much like computers and uh, cell phones and everything else. People will probably f maybe feel like they had a bad day for six months to nine months into 26 but uh and some people won't even care and then by the end of 26 and into 27 uh we're gonna have you know kind of a, a demand level that we've never seen before because everybody's gonna want it and when people like you guys go off grid and uh you know you have your own independent system you know it's, it's gonna say so much to your neighbors and friends that hey energy independence is possible and when they start living through blackouts and you've got backup, um, that's, you're going to be a huge factor in really getting other people to be interested in doing the same thing uh, because they'll realize they could do the same thing.